This is not going to make the headlines. It will have a thousand times less coverage than Qatargate. And it is not even close to being the perfect fresh new start that this parliament needs. But it is a first step towards serious reform, real transparency requirements and preventing future conflict of interest. Here, in this parliament, in which it has been incredibly difficult to have this topic on the agenda for so many years, a parliament which has previously been in favour of shutting down any constraint on its members. This has been a lonely uphill struggle most of the time. But since Qatar Gate, we have found a lot more of allies in nearly all groups, notably the socialists. Before me, there were other Green MEPs fighting for these changes, and in the next term, others will come, including the new generation, fighting for these changes and coming from all political groups. Because total opacity on money and side jobs is no longer acceptable. This cannot be framed as a free mandate. There is no unlawful right to misuse the money, the public money, or to receive unnecessary money from outside. Public money should not enrich politicians, and public policies should not be made under the pressure and interference of dirty money. This is the basis of democracy. We say this to the rest of the world. We say this to our own member state, we say it to other institutions, and we say it to business. But in this parliament, we still look to have the least constraints on MEPs the least possible. But these rules, now that we have, they can make a healthy democracy. Because there is no European healthy democracy without clean European institution. If we fail this time, we will be heading the next European election, sending a signal that this parliament has no problem sheltering those few MEPs that profit from their mandate at the expense of citizens and democracy.